this video I'm going to demonstrate how to create a Xamarin Forms project. This will be a traditional straightforward Xamarin form uh, without dealing with MVVM uh, framework. So I'm in Visual Studio 2022. I'm going to search Xamarin. A variety of things pop up. I'm going to pick this mobile app that we see. So I'm going to pick mobile app Xamarin Forms. Next it, give it a name. Create. And now you choose what you want. All of these are useful. I'm going to go with blank. Um, pick what you're developing for. I don't have a Mac handy, so I can't easily develop for iOS, so I'm going to check that. But I am going to check on Windows UWP. I have my machine properly configured for this. I chose blank just to keep my life easy. Android UWP. It creates. I'm going to let this thing chug. Alright. We're in. It didn't take too long. And the screen will pop up. You have your typical solution explorer over here, which is really important for Xamarin. You'll see I've got an Android section, UWP section, and I have the main section. I have a variety of files. But the first thing you want to do when this thing pops up is you want to op start by opening up main app or main page, excuse me. This is your project. This is what your main view will be. And it's got traditional welcome to Xamarin form stuff. You then want to run your project as soon as you can. You'll need to have your Android device manager started. And this will take a moment to start up. Alright, so my emulator is started. And then you want to pick whichever you wish to run on. I'm going to run an Android. And then you're started. Now this this first run takes several minutes, so hit the run button and then wait for a while. And I'm freezing for a moment. Let's let Visual Studio do its thing. Okay, I've thawed. I'm gonna run this. And you'll see over here in your taskbar, Visual Studio is there, and it'll start to fill up with green as this runs. This this first run seriously take can take a minute. Okay, it's run. It took about three minutes for my machine to run this this app. It doesn't take that long every time. That first run takes forever. It builds a whole bunch of stuff behind the scenes and generates the app and generates the UWP and writes a lot of DLLs. It takes a lot of time. So be patient in that first run. The subsequent runs won't take that long. Okay, so quick tour of what we have. Stack layout is how we've describing the, where the objects live in this particular page. Stack does exactly what it says. It stacks them on top of one another. There are a variety of other layouts which you explore in this class, including stack layout, grid layout, etc. Frame is this object. You see it's got an, a label inside of that. It says Welcome to Xamarin Forms. Labels your outputs. And we see how we can change the font of the label by setting a font size, we can set a color. This language is called XAML, XAML. It's HTML-like. Um, where it differs from HTML is that it is case sensitive. You do have to get everything perfect. Everything has to be open and closed correctly. That's the XML in its background. Now, Xamarin Forms does not have a nice GUI editor that comes with Visual Studio. So what it supports is Hot Reload. So if you make a minor change to this, and you save it, usually it updates immediately. There we go. Xamarin is awesome. If it doesn't update, you can hit this button, and if you're not patient enough, you can restart the app. I have Hot Reload and File Save set automatically in mind, so that whenever I do a save, it updates. Hot Reload only works if you're making changes in XAML. It does not work when you make changes behind the scene. In fact, Visual Studio will tell you you need to stop the project and restart it before these changes. 
Okay, so you've learned how to create a project and you've taken a look at the basics of XAML and you've seen Hot Reload. Um, in subsequent videos, I'll demonstrate how to put objects on the screen and how to respond to those particular objects. Thanks for watching. Good luck.